guys, uh, welcome to uh, the Abeka ninth grade curriculum. This is for the year 2022. Um, we actually start school tomorrow. So I wanted to give you a quick glance of the um, Abeka books for the ninth grade. This is the uh, video manual. And um, let me just quickly run through some of the books that we'll be using, starting with Bible. So for Bible, Abeka um, requires the King James Version. So I have the King James Version of the Holy Bible. You can find it on Amazon for really cheap, for like $3. Um, they uh, suggest that you have to sing his praises, which he has. The hymnal they're using. And here is the video manual. And if you look back on some of the other videos, um, I go over the video manuals more in depth. But they start off with an introduction, and then they go day by day from the first day all the way to um, lesson 170. So as you can see, I put an M up there because that's for Monday. We do co-op once a week, so we skip a day. So this is Wednesday. And then I just try to highlight anything that he has, quizzes or anything going on. And then in the back of the book, they have the verses. Um, they have some of the answers to the questions and the review that is in this book, which they are getting this year. So um, it's said for us to tear this page out, so I have it torn out for him to pour tomorrow morning. And then there's a quick glance. It looks really good. It goes over the kings of Israel. And he really enjoyed Bible class last year, so I'm hoping that this year he will enjoy it just as much. So... That is Bible. And then after Bible, they jump into Algebra 1. Woohoo! Which I am not, I have not gone over Algebra 1, so I'm hoping it's like review for the first month, but I doubt it. <laughs> I can't get that lucky. So anyways, I'll do it one at a time. Here is the video manual for Algebra 1. I haven't glanced at it yet. The same introduction. How to grade your quizzes and tests. Um, their daily guide, Lesson 1. Two to four, they need their text, and oh boy, their homework that they have to have. And what problems, odd or even, that's nice. They haven't had that before. And here's some quick quizzes that they did last year too for eighth grade. And let's see what else is in here. And then additional review, I guess. I don't know if it goes over the ones that the kids do in class or not. But as all video manuals do, there's an area for you to keep track of their progress reports in the back and the grades they have for the quizzes. So there's that. So let me give you a peek inside Algebra 1. So here we go. Let's see who can answer the problems on the front. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, like section 4 is linear inequalities. This is Chapter 2. Chapter one. So let me go into the beginning where it has, oh, let's see. Chapter one. So you can kind of see what algebra one is like. Polynomials, which I remember from last year, quadratic, those are fun. Statistics and probability are fun. Functions, those aren't too bad. Those are probably um, some more of the, oh, I like these too. So there is the algebra one. I'm trying to see if I see any geometry because if Becca is infamous for putting some geometry, I don't see any geometry in this, which is a bummer because we really liked geometry, but I know it's algebra. But sometimes they go back and review. So there's the textbook that he uses. Here is your lovely solution key that will give you the answers to his homework, the answers on the pages. Some geometry there. And then of course, um, you have your quizzes and tests. So they probably will have quizzes every week. That's how it was last year. So they do quite a few. So there's algebra one. And then we go from Bible to algebra to English. 
English, and I have already gone over English for tomorrow. So the same thing. Um, they, they tell you the research paper deadline and what to do each lesson and when it's due. So that's really nice. They did not do that before, not that I remember. And then how to grade, average the grades. Let me see what I have over here. So page one, I'm all ready for tomorrow, for Monday. Okay, so there's that. And I'm trying to find the textbook for grammar. Here's the grammar composition. I'm just gonna let him work out of the book. I tore out the pages, or he tore out the pages last year and kept them in a binder. But um, we're just going to work out of the book this time. So there's a quick rundown of what they're supposed to be doing. All right, and then here is your teacher key. That's all the answers. That's nice. And then they have spelling. And we're trying to get to the beginning. Spelling and the list of spelling. Here's spelling list one. Heartthrob. <laughs> so there's the spelling, and there also is the vocab that they do in the back. There's that. And you also have the answers to that, which I don't have them out yet, so I need to do that for tomorrow. Oh, here it is. They have the answer keys. It looks just like the textbook. All right, and then you have your grammar quiz test key and your grammar student quiz test. The same thing with voc vocabulary and spelling, your quizzes and then the test key. And then here's your themes and literature. See if I can get to the beginning to show you some of the um, stories that they go over for ninth grade. So you get to pick your book reports. They do not assign them. Josiah's already read um, some books for his co-ops. We've done Beowulf. We've done Canterbury Tales. We've done Sir Gawain and the Green Knight. So we will be using those for book reports and such. So there is um, grammar, and then after grammar, uh, I think we're just gonna jump into physical science. So here's science. Science is a, a big deal this year. Uh, I've already gone through it all. So there's the science, and then he has his own textbook for ninth grade. So this looks a little bit harder than eighth grade. They're putting a lot more math into it, it looks like which I think they should have incorporated that a little bit more in eighth grade. So we will see. Then he has to have his laboratory manual. And they did the labs on the video, but we also have some of the supplies so that we can do them ourselves. And there's that. And then they have a STEM project guide, with these, which they do on their own this year which we've done them all throughout Abeka, and I think they were fun and they were a good experience. And there's a teacher's guide for the STEM project and there is the teacher edition for the lab. So you get to have a few of the answers in here, I guess. So I recommend, even if you're not doing accredited, that you get the answer keys because they will greatly help you and reduce your stress level greatly. <laughs> and then we have um, your kosher, you have your science quiz and test key. You do have volume one and volume two. I did not have those, they had to resend them to me. So make sure that you get those if you're getting the new updated science for 2022. Here's the answer key for the questions in the book. And then here's health. So health is one semester and then it switches to geography for the next semester. So just a quick glance at health. The same kind of video manual that tells you what to do step by step. Here is a look inside his ninth grade um, health book. And those are just some of the topics that they are going to be going through for ninth grade science, ninth grade health, I'm sorry. So there's health, and you have your answer key, and you have your quiz and test key, and 
quizzes and texts for him, and I have a science folder already for him for tomorrow. Then after that, we go into, for the second semester, you have geography. I've not looked at this yet. Um, so you have geography. There's your video manual. I'm not going to even open it. And here's the book. It's world geography. Ooh, we got some maps. My son will love those. And he knows them already. So that's really great. <laughs> I love it when kids want to learn and they're interested and they just do it all on their own. That is the best part. I forgot to give you a quick glance at the content. Asia. And then Europe. And then we have Africa, North America, South America. That's it. And then it comes with some maps and some questions about geography. That'll be fun. And then you get your teacher key. And then you get your quiz and test key. And then you get your quizzes and tests for your student. And then you get the answer key for the textbook for the homework questions. And then we have keyboarding. So for freshman year, they can pick and choose their electives. So PE was an elective, but since my son does swimming, we are going to keep PE for next year. And we're gonna do keyboarding this year because he doesn't know how to type yet. He needs to know how to type quickly and to be able to type the formats that are needed to write his reports and his compositions. So I went over this um, already for tomorrow and I didn't have Word on my computer, so I had to get Word. So here's the quiz and test key. Here's the solution key to this book, and I should have the quizzes and tests somewhere. I'll have to find them. So, and there's one um, for your student that matches this as well. So they do require that you have the desktop and um, the Word, the Word on uh, document. So I finally got that on my computer lot today, actually. So that is it for um, ninth grade. That's just a quick glance. If you have any questions or if this video has helped you at all, please hit the like button and subscribe and leave me a comment if you'd like to talk about homeschooling. Happy homeschooling. Thanks for watching, guys.